Hey guys, today we're back with another video. We're with the repo business in the Sunshine State of Florida. Let's hop in the 06 Duramax and let's get over to the shop and get the day started. A quick overview here on this truck. It's a 2006 Chevy 3500 with aftermarket wheels and tires of tune. And so many cool things out here on it. One pretty neat truck, but today guys, is going to be a busy day here for us. We are going to be doing uh, quite a few repos across the entire state of Florida it should be a lot of fun now like always guys there is a full mods list link down below and please hit the like button if you did end up enjoying it now it has been some time since our last repo video so it's nice to get back here it should be a lot of fun and the bank uh, did send on over the list but it is actually on my laptop which I left here in the office so we're gonna be finding out what we're gonna be repoing uh, when we get on over to the shop here but we are always super busy there's just people that buy things and don't pay the bills and that means it's fun for us because we get to go locate them and bring them back to our shop and then uh, to the bank here but I will say guys this Duramax is one pretty sweet truck huge shout goes out to machine modding for this one and like always guys the list is down below here so I'm gonna go uh, check up on the laptop here and then we should be good to go uh, to get uh, the day started with these repos just getting the office door closed there. So looking at the list, we have three repos here. Some very expensive things we're going to be repoing. The first one, I think we're going to go with the, what is closest to us. The first one here, guys, is a 35-foot contender. It's a $1.2 million boat. It has three motors on the back, and they are five months behind on payments, which is almost $20,000. So let's hop in the Cummins. I think we're going to take this truck here because a 35-foot-plus boat is a pretty heavy one. And we probably do need a dually here for it. And hey, uh, this does have a lot of strobes here, which is going to come in pretty handy here. But I hope everyone has been having a pretty good day here. Let me know how it is so far. It's right around midweek. It's always a great time. And uh, I can't wait for the weekend like always here. But I think we're only about probably half hour uh, from where uh, it might be located. Now, we should probably be going over to the marina. But I think we'll first go by the owner's house. The boating season is really uh, just getting started stars so maybe hopefully it's in the driveway now, like I mentioned, guys, a repo is where if you don't pay the bills, we come on out and bring it back to the bank here. That way, uh, the bank could put it up for auction and get their money back and uh, get moved on there as well. But we are now here in the neighborhood now. I will say, guys, the neighbors, everyone is going to be seeing a record come through here. So we got to make sure if it's here, we do make quick work here because I will definitely assume uh, quite a few people are going to be calling the owner. But what do we have here? Wow, that is definitely one huge boat here. Definitely have to be a million. Uh, to haul something like this here so let's get our strobe lights going this is one huge huge boat here now on this boat we actually have to check the VIN number of the trailer let's see let's see the VIN number is right there that VIN number matches we do have to check the license plate yep that license plate matches in the last four the VIN on one of these engines yeah guys this is it we're gonna take a few pictures but one thing guys eh, this might be a little tricky here for us as well we don't want to be taking out any power lines. Alright guys, we're ready to get back to our shop here. Now one thing I did notice guys, the garage door is open and there's no cars in it or the driveway here, which is probably a good thing because this took us uh, like 5 minutes uh, to double check everything. I did make sure the straps, everything's good because hey, uh, we can't end up putting any damage here on this, but this is going to be tricky. Hopefully we don't have any problems with any trees here. We're going to have to go in the middle of the road. We don't want to be really trimming any trees here, but wow, look at this boat. This is is a pretty sweet boat and huge shout out uh, goes out to Lance over on Discord for sending over this boat but wow guys we're gonna have to take it slow I mean a 35 foot boat here is probably I would say almost 20,000 pounds it's a pretty big one uh, it's an awesome boat as well I really do like this Rugger here. It does come in pretty handy as well, especially the maneuverability of uh, the Rugger cab with the Rugger uh, body on the back it does come in pretty sweet here. But if you do have any cool ideas here for me, what should we record next? Please let me know. I really do like using your feedback here. It really helps out the channel. But there we have it, guys. We got the first one done here. So I'm going to go. I'm going to go call the bank, let them know that we have this here. And I'm going to put a, a lock there on the hitch. And then we'll get going on the next one. 
Looking at our paperwork, guys, the next repo is going to be a, a package deal, a toy hauler, a 36-foot uh, triaxle toy hauler bumper pole, along with a player's four-door here. It's going to be a bit tricky. They said we have to get both in order uh, to take it. Otherwise, one of them is going to go into hiding here. It's going to be a bit tricky, but we do have our wrecker here with us now. I would say we could probably use our truck if we really wanted to, uh, since we don't really need to be towing anything here, but it's should be coming up on one of these houses oh yeah this is a house here and hey hey guys look at that i do see it right out front yeah i see the toy hauler maybe actually maybe the uh uh polaris is right in the back of it i mean hey that would work out here for us but let's go on down we have the lights going so you know uh that we are here hopefully no one's home uh, that's always a part of it here but hey if they come running out we're just gonna have to hook it and book it here but yeah no one's here let's just really quickly look through the uh window there on the and looks like there is a car there in the, in the garage but here we have it the toy hauler let's uh, double check the uh, last four of the VIN perfect we're going to double check the plate on it and yep but let's see let's see it is not inside guys oh boy is it in the garage I don't really sh uh, see a shed around anywhere oh there we have it guys wow uh, uh, hidden around backside the house the players four seater and this is the VIN so let's get it loaded up and uh, this was a pretty easy repo All right, we're all loaded on up here now. It looks like someone did come on out here, but uh, they didn't say anything here to us, which is a good thing. Let's hop in and let's head back to the shop here. Now, this toy hauler, guys, is over $150,000, and that player's four-door, guys, was over $50,000 here. So once again, you have to be a millionaire to own toys like this here. You have to make smart investments, and you also just have to make a lot of money to own toys like this here, especially ones that do depreciate in value quite quite a lot here but let's head on back here to the shop i'm going to top off on a diesel as well since we're running low here in the wrecker and then i'm, I'm not uh, sure what the last repo is but hopefully it's something exciting like these last two we're back here at the shop now, here with the toy hauler and the four-door players, but I just got a call from the bank. They actually uh, changed up the repo here for us. This is going to be pretty unique. We are going to be going helping out repoing a $10 million jet. Uh, someone owns a jet here in town, and hey, it is up for repo. So let's hop in our 06 Duramax. They do have a pilot on the way that's going to be flying the jet, but hey, we get to fly in a private jet, and we're just going to help them on out since they do... Uh, no, we do a pretty good job with uh, repoing boats and different vehicles like this here. But this should be a lot of fun looking at the GPS. It's in our way. It looks to be on one of the uh, ocean uh, sides of Florida here. So let's head on out. During the summer, guys, Florida is really hot here. I got the AC blasted just really like this 06 Duramax. Now, I am thinking, what if we add this to the farming series? I will say, guys, it is just a really neat truck. Looks so cool, especially with all these uh, parts done to it here. But th uh, this guy's reboing a jet, a private jet from someone who didn't pay the bills is going to be a lot of fun. It looks like right after this hill, we're going to be coming up on the house here. Now, it is actually going to be a mansion. Oh, boy, guys. We can see it here in the distance. Look at that thing. That is so huge. And from the corner of my eye here, I do see something off to the side here. But, wow. Look at this, guys. That is one huge mansion. And the jet is right there. Wow. That is a pretty fancy here. So, what I'm thinking, what if we drive right alongside here? I don't think we're going to be noticed as well. Hopefully... Uh, the security systems really anything doesn't uh, kind of uh, alert him but we got four-wheel drive we're just gonna slowly go right alongside the fence line here hopefully no one's looking out the windows and I don't think there's any security guards or anything like that here but here we have it guys that is definitely the jet here this weird jet that is a pretty sweet thing here oh boy guys I do see the door opened up here so let's double check and let's uh, just make sure we're all good to go here wow guys look at this a uh, 10 million dollar jet uh, he's six months behind on payments which is half a million dollars 
Wars. Oh boy, uh, he definitely didn't pay here. Really quick, uh, quickly, let's climb on in. We have to make sure no one is in here. And then uh, we could repo. It looks like no one's out front there. And no one's around back. Wow, this is pretty fancy. So I'm going to wait around, guys, uh, for the uh, pilot to arrive here. Let them know we got it. And I will uh, catch you guys back in the sky. All right, guys, we got the landing gear folded on up here. There we have it. Uh, we did three very expensive repos here from multi-millionaires. Uh, but hey, we repoed a jet here. Not an everyday thing you guys see here on the channel. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Let me know uh, down below what you guys thought here. But it was definitely nice to get to Florida. Enjoy the warm weather. But we're going to be off here in the jet. Probably going to a state uh, next door. But until next time, guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for next one. And subscribe for more.